Hey, this is Mirgloff Builds, and this is the final update sort of tour of what's been done in the town of Greenstone in the previous 10 episodes. This will be the final update for Greenstone as I've completed the last building that I'm going to build here. And immediately after this, we'll be moving on to establish a new town. But we're going to take a look at some of the stuff I built. And it has been a while, so it'll be actually a good recap, a refresher of what's been done. So here's the Greenstone Wharf, or docks. And the boats are meant to be uh, next to those ladders, but they kind of got pushed aside. That's all right. And... Uh, there's not too much to say about it. It's uh, some docks. But I did put uh, more effort into them compared to the docks that I made in uh, the town of Mirgloff, which is, I believe, the reason why I made a point of uh, making a video of this. And here we have the salty tackle box, tackle box smokehouse, where the fish caught at the wharf would be uh, smoked, and as well, I built a fishmonger in the same video. I'll just uh, hop along that way real quick. Oh, unless I get hungry first. So this is the fishmonger here, and it's a Pretty standard uh, fish shop, or just a general follows the uh, format that I have come up with uh, artistically, I guess, with uh, the shops that I make. And then while we're here, we'll go ahead and take a look at the watchtower. And I've uh, placed vines on all the remaining buildings that did not have vines on them, just to be consistent. With all the other stuff, it'd be awkward if only some had vines and other buildings did not. And this uh, watchtower is uh, fallproof, so you can't really fall off the uh, the tower here by accident. And at the same time, uh, it, your view isn't really obscured by anything. And there's a nice view. And there's a view of uh, the Rob Theus Plantation. Also, I should mention that I got rid of that uh, uh, mob spawner grinder thing, as uh, I'm no longer gathering uh, gunpowder for uh, making TNT for clearing out that cavern. But uh, we'll take a look at the Rubtheus plantation here, which I had been using to collect wood, as there was no longer any uh, available, or at least... Uh, nearby uh, forests for me to cut down for wood. I'll go this way. And I've gotten a large yield of wood from this plantation, so it was very fruitful. I don't really have much wood in these chests, but I've used a lot of wood. This is basically in t the interior. And here is Sam is Gamer MLG's chess piece. My attempt to make a knight. And it's completely made out of uh, white wool, except for maybe an odd uh, dirt block I may have left on the inside because it's hollow. This here is E Maze's Maze. I built as a monument to my subscriber E Maze. And it's primarily, it is entirely made out of wood. It was fairly wood expensive, but really not that bad thanks to the, uh, the Rob Theus plantation. It feels like ages ago, but the the Epic Lollipop, which I built for uh, the subscriber Epic Lollipop, 
uh, was built within the last 10 videos. And I believe it's the, uh, the only, like, 2D pixel art I've ever done. And that's the best I could do is for a lollipop. I think I could have done better if I actually made it a bit larger. And this here is another uh, monument to my subscribers, 3V4D45. And it's also the uh, historical marker of uh, where the settlers of Greenstone first laid eyes on the area that they decided to uh, settle. So this is the founding stone of Greenstone. And it's represented with mossy cobblestone. Although I don't didn't actually use mossy cobblestone as part of the uh, structures of what I built in Greenstone. And then I built a uh, completely new type of house here, or at least new to the town of Greenstone. I hadn't made any previous versions or houses similar to it. And that is uh, Smoke Street 1B of Greenstone. And the last two things would be over here, right next to each other. And that is the uh, O Pancakes Breakfast Nook. And the Slicey Dicey Sword Shop. And that is all that's been built in the last 10 videos. So the next step is to go find, go start a new town. And I believe I mentioned it previously in uh, one of the previous videos that it will be uh, a town of the Sand Nation or the Sand Kingdom. So it's going to be somewhere in a desert. And hopefully a large desert. Uh, the only thing I have left to do is to uh, make a new uh, intro, outro uh, graphic, sort of uh, what you see at the beginning and end of the videos, where I play the intro and outro music, sort of to see the sun rising and setting over uh, the town of Mirgloth. I will do the same for the town of Greenstone. And I'm thinking if there's anything else that I want to mention. Oh yes, uh, I did. Uh, I am going to be changing the intro song to uh, Mirgloff Builds into another song. That'll be a surprise. So in the previous video, the Slicey Dicey Shop video, uh, I played the full length version of uh, One Eyed Maestro. And which was uh, partially of which was has been my uh, intro music f since uh, a long, long time, even before Mirgloff Builds was the series that it is now. And uh, yeah, so I played it for the last time, and it was also uh, part of it was also uh, the end of it was the outro, because it's a very cool ending to that song, so it made a great uh, outro. And I played Pinball Spring one more time as well, although I've already uh, ended, I stopped using that as the outro a bit ago, because I just got tired of listening to the, the Pinball Spring song. But there will be a completely new intro music. I still plan on using 8-Bit uh, Party by Ozd, uh, for the outro. Anyways, thank you for watching. You will begin just the next step in a long, long road that is the Mirgloff builds and all the kingdoms that I shall build. I have not even finished the first kingdom. I eventually will build uh, capital cities. Anyways, see you later.